Hey guys, Greg Jeffries. I'm going to be on the Online Prosperity Show, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to achieve $100 to $200 a day online with affiliate marketing using free or very inexpensive strategies. So stick around. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, we brought you the XCO expert himself, Greg. Greg, how are you doing, my man? How's it going? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Fantastic. Now, obviously, people that are watching this show are people that want to have businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And by that, that means they want to have a good digital presence and also be found when their clients are searching for them. Now, things like SEO, personal branding, and all the stuff that gets your customers in front of you are really, really important when it comes to, um, you know, being seen online or on the search engines there. So that's the reason why we brought in Greg, who's um, among the top SEO experts in his fields, especially when it comes to affiliate SEO, right, Greg? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. So he's going to be talking to us exactly what he does within his business and um, one of the things that he helps people to do is to achieve between 100 to $200 uh, a day online with affiliate marketing using free or very inexpensive strategies. Now, Greg, tell us a little bit about how you got started and what it is that you actually do there. Yeah, so uh, just kind of the typical... Um you know, hard school, hard knocks story, just, um, you know, I came from middle class background, so I didn't have like a lot of money to start out with, like most people. So just, you know, worked a job during the day, kind of did a little side hustle in the night and the evening and the weekends, just trying to learn this stuff. So spent a lot of money on courses and softwares and, you know, mentors and stuff over the last couple of years. And eventually just learned enough about SEO and I just sort of gravitated that direction. So, you know, just by putting more and more content out there, I got more and more results and eventually just got to the point where I started to focus on focusing on that primarily because that was what was, you know, making me some money and then more money. And I just, you know, the more, the more uh, focus I gave to it, you know, the income kind of increased as a result. And so, yeah, eventually just start doing more and more of that and teaching others what I what I've learned because a lot of the things I've learned over the years they're not really taught in any other course. They because the big epiphanies I've gotten have come from a mixture of just taking action and ha having been through multiple courses. Because but the things a lot of the things I teach in in my training and stuff you're not gonna find it in another course because no like nobody teaches the things like some of the things I've acquired over the, the information I've acquired over the years, they've come from like private masterminds or just by in-person meetings and uh, live meetups and stuff. So they're not a lot of the people, uh, you know, this goes for anything, not just SEO, but a lot of people that are really good at whatever it is they're doing. They, a lot of times they don't make courses. So, you know, the people that are really good at things, they're, they're busy doing those things. They're not, sitting down and you know creating courses so anyway to sum it up yeah i sort of gravitated towards affiliate seo which means you know i don't have to kind of promoting and marketing products and services uh, so it gives me the freedom to promote and market anything i want uh, without having to you know go into a nine to five i don't have a boss and i don't really have any employees uh, working under me so i don't have like I've out, sometimes I outsource a few things, but there, you know, that I don't have to manage anybody and I don't have anybody to report to. So I'm pretty much just a one man show, just a solopreneur. I don't have an agency or anything like that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for clarifying that aspect there. Now, obviously what you did was uh, you went out, you, you know, you got that we're here to live, we're here to learn and we're here to contribute. So you, you lived the life and then you realized you wanted more and then you started learning and you got information from places that are, you know, not accessible to a whole lot of people. Now you're contributing that uh, learning by giving out, um, you know, that information in terms of 
your course and um, things like that. So thank you so much for your contribution there. And uh, from what I've heard, you also managed to niche it down, which means you didn't go on and did the whole scope of what SEO really is. But I really want to just pull back the curtain a little bit. What actually is SEO for, for that one person who <laughs> hasn't, you know, woken up from the rocks they're living under to pretty much grasp what it is and what it entails and the magnitude of what SEO can do for a business. Yeah. So, I mean, just SEO is just an acronym. It stands for search engine optimization and put simply all that is, is basically just optimizing content, whether it be a YouTube video or a blog post or uh, any other piece of content to rank it within the search engines because there's, there's a structure to how the search engines like Google and Yahoo rank content. You know, it has to be pretty much it had that someone told me this interesting story from years ago with um, Google, like when, um, before they become, before, before they became like the Google that we all know. And they basically have three rules for ranking content. One is to be relevant. Uh, the second rule is to be, popular and the third rule is basically to not be evil and what that uh, means kind of translated is number one uh, be relevant which means the, the best example of that is kind of Wikipedia so when you type in any keyword pretty much Wikipedia is somewhere on the first page whether it be a band or a, a, um, a celebrity or anything like that and the reason it's not it's it's for the content is a big reason, but also the way that the content is structured. So um, that's, you know, number one or whatever. And then being popular just basically means having social proof, having authority, having other links and websites pointing to you. So that's the, that's the off page element the content itself on the page is the on page. So that's really the only two elements of SEO. And then like what they meant by not being evil just means not using like black hat shady tactics to kind of game the system. Like all SEO is, is sort of black hat or gray hat if you want to call it that because you are, yes, you are gaming the search engines to rank, but you're just sort of speeding up what, what, what you would do naturally um, because the, the reason that like Huffington Post and um, just like other popular huge sites out there like BuzzFeed or whatever, the reason that they rank so high, the Wikipedias and stuff, is because of all the, again, one is the, the content on the page and the way it's structured. And then another big factor is the fact that, you know, maybe that, you know, that like Huffington Post, for example, they have millions of articles out there that have been shared a lot and have other links pointing back to it. So when you come, you know, factor in that, like that, that site is going to have a lot of authority in the eyes of Google. So that's kind of what SEO is. Absolutely. Like you've, you've really, um, even for somebody who doesn't understand it, cause you've really nailed it. It's all about optimization and authority. And if Google trusts what you're saying and how popular it is, then obviously it's a sign that other websites are putting up their hands to say that your, your website actually is valid and relevant information, which you've just uh, mentioned there. So is it something that um, any beginner can start with uh, or will it work? Wh whatever it is that you teach people, would it start for somebody who doesn't quite understand what they're doing? Or is it somebody who needs to have some level or some skin in the game for them to um, start um, your course? Um, I, my course, the, I designed it for all levels of people. So from beginners, intermediate to advanced. Um, so anybody can go through it and, and should be able to have success there. Obviously, if you're a complete beginner, like you literally only know how to turn on a computer, there is going to be a small learning curve just as with anything new but as long as you get over that hump of just learning what a domain is a website and how to connect those two and I show you how to do all that um, the, the, the the foundational um, like principles behind SEO are very uh, it's just common sense like it's very simple like you don't uh, the, my beef with a lot of other 
SEO courses out there is it just seems so mysterious and hard and like I think that's the um, mindset of a lot of people that hear the word SEO that it just seems so mysterious nobody really knows why stuff ranks and it's really not that hard like it's like you have to remember that Google it was designed by somebody so there's a reason that stuff ranks like there's a order to it it's not just mysterious this, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a logic to their algorithm, you know? And so it's, it's pretty simple. It's not, it's not some kind of secret voodoo, you know, it's anybody can do this. And the way that I teach it, the, um, if you want to rank for more competitive stuff, like how to lose weight, uh, like, yes, anybody can rank for that in theory, but that is going to take a lot of time and a lot of probably money too. Um, which is going to discourage people that are just getting started out. So I take a different approach. I rank, I teach people to rank for less competitive stuff, like the longer search phrases, um, but lots and lots of them. Because um, other courses, they you know they teach to rank for you know a keyword or like a product name followed by the word review, and that's all great and stuff. But and you can do that, but there's just so many more keywords out there that are longer phrases. And the thing is that they, the advantage of, ta of targeting longer tail search phrases, they, have, uh, they just have far less competition. <laughs> and so it's easier for beginners to rank. Like, yes, it's going to get, they're going to get less traffic for each of those keywords. But since it's so simple to rank for them, basically all you have to do to rank for a lot of those is just create content for that specific keyword like you don't have to you don't have to have a billion likes and shares and you know 300 links sent to each one of those you literally just have to show up which mean like which means creating a, a unique video or a unique blog post or article about that search phrase and that like you will probably show up on page one of YouTube and Google for that and so if you do that a couple of hundred times you know you're gonna you're going to start siphoning in some traffic um, from that. And so anybody like that was the, the, the little element that I was trying to figure out when I first started, when I didn't have a lot of money was like, how do you like all these courses out there, they they're teaching uh, and showing these examples of like $10,000 a day or $10,000 a month. That's great. But how do you get from $0 to like, ten dollars a day that's what i wanted to know like as a beginner like how do you make that first you know you know 50 or 100 bucks because if you can teach people how to do that all you have to do to make five thousand is to do that a hundred more times like if you can just you know show people how to make that first couple dollars then uh it's, it's a game changer because that's all they that's what most people that's their hurdle they need to get over and that's what I kind of discovered with what I'm doing with SEO. So I, I have a little bit of different approach than other people teach it. And I feel like I kind of demystify it. Um, whereas other courses like this stuff has been taught before, but I feel like the other people that have, that have courses out there that teach it, it's, it's taught in a way that's so over your head that, yeah, they're telling you what to do, but it's, it's like, learn in a different language the people like if somebody's brand new and they go through their course it's not even gonna they're not even gonna digest it or stick because they're even though that person's giving them the answer that they're giving it to them in like code you know and they're just like i don't even i have no idea how to apply this <laughs> absolutely so obviously now that we've established that even a beginner can do it um, and it's not a difficult language. Is that something, um, you know, obviously there's quite a lot that is involved and making that first $1 online is the hardest thing like you've mentioned for quite a lot of um, internet entrepreneurs, just making that $1 online. How much does it actually cost to get started with you? So, I mean, the information for the course is, you know, aside from that, um, which is as, you know, We'll plug that in the end, I guess. But um, so there's a couple hundred dollars right now for my course, which is, you know, very small in comparison to all the thousands of dollars I, I spent for to learn all this stuff. Like, and I teach them, I teach people everything they need to know. So not only what to do, but I give them the exact, the exact tools and resources that I recommend. So they're not going to have to 
try to go out and find those and stuff because that in itself, you know, that you could people people can spend thousands of dollars trying to like when I mentioned domains and hosting, okay, there's like 10,000 domain registrars. There's a, uh, you know, hundreds of hosting services. Which one do you go with? So I, I, I give people the exact ones I recommend, but, um, uh, what were we, what was the question again? Um, the, oh, no, uh, the, sorry, the cost. What else is involved? Yeah. Yes. What, what else is involved with? Yeah. Yeah, so there's different, um, I mean, there's all kinds of different tools out there, but I try to keep the the newbie in mind when I was designing this course is like the, the newbie that doesn't have that much money, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Like I kind of, because that's where I was for a very long time. So I created this course around that kind of avatar. So other than a domain and hosting, which, you know, domains, 10 to 15 bucks each, uh, hosting, a couple of bucks a month uh, and you can host many, many different websites for that price. So those are your core pro, uh, tools. And then, you know, other than maybe a premium WordPress theme or in a couple of um, uh, plugins that I, I recommend, like what, what I teach people, my, my framework, a couple of hundred bucks is like all you need. And that's plenty to get, started with as far as a budget now again of course there's other tools and stuff that you can buy but i don't want to uh, paint this image that you need all these thousands of dollars of tools because you don't need them like yes they're helpful once you're making money um if you want to grow quicker and stuff like you want to um just expand you know, like it, when you make your first hundred dollars you know you, you probably want to figure out how you can make the, you know, a thousand dollars or $10,000 as quickly as possible. So it, you know, if you want to grow quicker, you may want to invest in some other tools, but um, the basics are just a domain a hosting. And honestly, if you just have those two things, which I mean, that's what a hundred dollars or less um, literally by just doing uh, targeting the right keywords, like, and don't get hung up anybody watching this on like the right ones because there's thousands of keywords. Like there's all, I feel also in these other courses and a lot of other strategies out there, there's this um, undertone of competition and stuff. And so the way that I approach um, SEO and these long tail keywords, there's so little competition. Like there's so, there's so many blue oceans out there thousands and thousands and thousands of keywords. So I don't want people to uh, get hung up on like the perfect product to promote because there's a lot of perfect products. Um, and you're, yeah, you're probably going to pick a few duds uh, when you first start out, but like just as a, an example of just the abundance of products, like just go on Amazon, look at, look at some of the best sellers. There's literally like hundreds of new products every single day that are, and those are just the best sellers. There's still like a billion other products that are maybe not the best sellers that are also selling that, you know, maybe they're not selling 10,000 a day, but you know, they're still making money. So you can promote any of that stuff. So anyway, long winded answer, but you don't have to have a ton of money to get started in it because I, that's another barrier that holds people back is one is like, they think it's mysterious, the SEO. And then two is man, I don't have $10,000 and you're like, well, you don't need that. That's, you know, that's other marketers trying to sell you stuff that you don't necessarily need. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So obviously now we've figured out this newbie uh, can jump in with no really that many overheads. Um, they've probably been trying to get that $1. So let's just really work on, you know, that metaphorical one dollar. They're trying to get that one dollar online for the first time ever, and um, you know they probably don't have the time. They probably really don't have the wherewithal to complete the course. How, how long does the course take? Um, that's another thing I, I kept in mind when putting together. So it's, uh, yeah, I haven't added it all up, but it's probably uh, not much more than like three hours, like total. So you know you can go through it in a day. It's not going to be some four week course or anything like that. Nobody has time for that. Um, so, and I'm quite aware of that. Like I, I want you to be able to go through the course, uh, 
as quickly as possible so you can focus on the implementation. That's what's going to get your results. You're not going to make money just by buying my course and going through it and not doing anything. Like you have to actually implement it. So, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not that long. And, um, but as in, in regards to, you know, them not having time, I, I know everybody's got a different situation. Some people, um, are, you know, I'm single at the moment, so I have a lot of time, but, uh, some people have, uh, are married, they have kids, multiple kids and I, and I get that, you know, they have less and less time. But if you're, if you're really serious, like you will have to find the time you can't use that as an excuse. Like you have to find the time somewhere. Um, or, or you have to find the money to pay someone like you can outsource all the stuff that I teach, but either way, like you can't use that as an excuse. Like I know people are going to use that as an excuse, but like you can't, like if you want success, you will have to find a way to carve out that time and make this work. And you know, it might, if you, if you have a lot of responsibilities, if you have two jobs and multiple kids and things like that, like you're just going to have to chip away at this a little bit more slowly. Like you, you may only have an hour a day. You just have to work with that, you know, <laughs> until you can carve out, maybe, you know, maybe you can work up your way, work your way up until you don't need that second job. And now you have more time and then you use that time and it just kind of snowball and it'll, it'll, you'll eventually make more and more money. But, um, you, you have to work with what you've got. You, you can't, I mean, everybody's got excuses. Nobody's got enough time. We've all, we've all only got 24 hours in a day. Like I wish I had more time, but I don't. So you just have to work with what you've got. You know, it, this stuff that I, that I teach, and I do, it doesn't, it isn't hard. It doesn't take a lot of, it doesn't like, I don't work 18 hours a day. You know, I don't, I'm, yes, you have to put an effort, but I'm not into the, Gary V like hustle, hustle, grind, grind, grind all day. Like that's not sustainable for most people. Uh, not for me at least. So I, I, yes, I put in effort, but I, you know, I, I don't work 18 hours a day. I don't know anybody that does that you know, for long periods of time. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So, but I'm sure you, you got the results to show uh, for that. So yeah, if I, if I decided to do that, I'd have, you know, I'd have much bigger results, but you know, I'm comfortable. So, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, obviously. Okay, so let's say I've put in all the work, like you said. Um, yeah, yeah. Even if the minimum that is, and I've done the two, three hours um, that the course entails. How long then should I wait until I start seeing results? Um, you know, that's a that's a very common question. It's um, kind of a hard one to answer because everybody's results are going to be different, obviously. But I like on the the low end i i, I don't want to uh tell people some uh low figure and then be disappointed so at least give yourself like 60 to 90 days to get some traction and if you're newer it may may even take you longer than that so if this information is like completely brand new you, like you don't even know what seo is there is going to be that learning curve it's just like you know if you're uh told this example before like if you um I don't know much about basketball. I'm not very good at sports, but if I had the best coach in the world, I've had like Michael Jordan come coach me on how to shoot free throws. Um, and, and in 30 days, I wasn't the best free throw shoot, you know, shooter in the world. Could I really say that like the, the instruction, the method that he was teaching me was like crap. Like, no, he's, he's the best or he's one of the best basketball players of all time. So, but I don't know much. You know, I don't have much experience with you know shooting basketballs and stuff. So it's not that the you know method doesn't work. Because that I'm not that experienced. I have 30 days of experience shooting a basketball. So even if I did that every single day, like I'd only be a small percentage as good as someone like Michael Jordan because he's done that his whole life. You know. So uh, give give yourself time to make it work. Like the. What I like to, the timeline I like to give people is like, give yourself a, a whole year, give yourself 12 months to just become good at this, like, and master this, like, um, cause I, I don't want to, you know, tell people, oh, it's only, you know, you're going to make a thousand dollars in the first month. Like you can, I can, <laughs> cause I've done it longer than you, but like you, you probably won't you know, uh, is the reality because it's, it's, if it's brand new to you, you know, like you're learning, you got to give yourself time to 
become good at this. But apps, you know, if you put in the effort and you're serious, and you're, you know, you're going to get better and better over time. So the the number, or I like to give people is like uh, at least twelve months, at least a year to just really become good at it. It's because I mean, like you said, you have an agency. Well, how long did it tell? I mean, you're probably comfortable with what you're doing right now, um, and you're maybe if you have employees or your processes or your, and delegating those tasks, but how long did it take you to get good at that? You know, did, were you good the first week? I can tell you it takes 21 years to be 21 years. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> there is no overnight success and you're absolutely right. It's an ongoing uh, learning and sometimes Google does change his algorithms. You've got to be on top of that. And so it's an ongoing process of learning and learning up until you really, really master a bit of the craft. But there's always basics. There's always the bottom line, the foundation of which I suppose this is what you are uh, teaching people there. Now, great. Tell me a little something. Obviously, okay, so we've done the three days. We've done, um, you know, those first initial part, you know, results are probably sort of trickling in, but not as fast as everybody else wants because everybody these days expects instant gratification. You know what I mean? We just want, if I send a message today, I expect a response tomorrow, the latest. If not, I'm probably going to call the police and find out if you're okay or are you ignoring me? I don't know. It's just one of those things. It's just the way we're built up now. Um, when we start sort of working together and then and, and I've taken in the course, is there some sort of ongoing support or do I just do the course and then I'm on my own? No, as far as the training, you know, I understand that, you know, people are going to have questions and, you know, I don't want people to be on their own. So there is a Facebook group for everybody that's invested in, in my course. So you can collaborate with other people, kind of get encouragement. I'll be in there answering questions. And then, um, you know, I don't have all the time in the world. I you know kind of split my time between, actually doing what I teach and then, but for people that, you know, if they show me that they're really putting in the effort on, um, you know, I can hop on Skype with them and answer their questions. But, you know, obviously the, the more people that invest in the course, uh, I'll be have, you know, I won't be able to do that as much because, you know, if you get hundreds and thousands of people, I, I don't have 10,000 hours in a day. I can't do that. But, um, you know, I've spent hours with several people that have invested in the course just because I, I want them to be successful. Like I don't, I don't have to teach this. Uh, I don't have to share this information with people. Like I'm already getting results. I don't have to prove to myself that this works. I can just kind of be anonymous, uh, you know, stop selling my course and just keep doing this. And like, you'll never know, you, you know, that I exist. I'm just, cause you don't like, you don't know the sites that I own. Like you, I don't put my face on all the sites. You don't know that you're going through my affiliate links and stuff, but I really, you know, it took me so long to figure this out. And this is what I was kind of looking for when I first started out that, you know, uh, people, other people say this all the time. Like if I, if I had this, when I first started out, man, it, it would have saved me like tens of thousands of dollars and about seven years of my life. And so I want to give that to other people because I know there, there's so many people out there, they're looking for a solution to just, you know, hundred to 200 bucks a day. I'm not, um, and I'm not promising that you're going to get that or in a certain amount of time, but I don't want to say that, you know, you're going to make $10 million this year uh, because most people don't even, when you sit down and talk to them about what they really want um, as far as it really just comes down to freedom and freedom doesn't cost $10 million a year. Like, it, you know, hundred to 200 bucks a day, you can live comfortably. You can, I mean, I mean, you may need a little more if you have a family or whatever, but you can work up to that. So that's the, the goal of the course. Absolutely. I really like that you're showing people the way, um, and, you know, especially the newbies that don't quite know that just creating a website these days is not the bead and end all. There's quite a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes in order for customers to actually then land onto that website. Um, I see in a lot of forums or in a lot of groups, people saying, oh, how do I get traffic? Um, speak to Greg. He'll sort you out. Now, if somebody's watching this show right now and is probably enlightened and now knows that there's a whole world behind the scenes of a website, what's the best way that uh, people can either join this course or get a hold of you to ask you further questions? Yeah, you can. Um, I mean, you can. I guess try to find me on Facebook. Uh, maybe I don't know if there's going to be links somewhere around here, but uh, for the course is called SEO affiliate domination. So if you just Google that, you should be 
you should find that. Um, and you know, there's lots of questions that come in, uh, frequently asked questions on there. So I'm sure people watching this, they'll probably have a lot of questions. I try to answer as many of those as possible on the page just so that, uh, yeah, I don't have to, you don't have to message me with those. Um, but if you still have questions, um, hit me up, you can find me on Facebook. So that's kind of where I hang out the most. So Absolutely. I will be putting in um, the uh, links that you just mentioned right at the bottom in the show notes there. Now, obviously, like there's newbies out there, people that are looking to have businesses that are profitable and they actually enjoy working in their business. You've done it. There you are sitting on a six figure, um, you know, affiliate business and um, you're also helping others along the way. What sort of last minute advice can you give to somebody who's probably just sitting on the fence uh, right now and thinking, okay, 2018 is going to be my year. I'm going to do something. But, you know, 2017, I, I say the same thing. 2016, I say the same thing. And 2015, I was probably still in college. So what, what, <laughs> what sort of, um, um, you know, words would you give to somebody who really needs to get that, um, you know, fire under their belly for 2018 to start something that, you know, would lead them to um, that freedom that you talk about? Yeah, just uh, kind of go all in. I mean, do, uh, you know, f find a course or a mentor that uh, somebody that's already achieved the success that you're looking to achieve, which, you know, maybe I have, um, but maybe, maybe you don't want to do SEO. Maybe you don't like the way I talk or something. I don't know. Maybe you don't want my course. That's fine. Uh, whatever you're interested in, find a, a mentor or somebody that has a course, somebody that you can trust that um, has mastered that thing. And then just have discipline and focus and focus on that thing. Don't, don't get like, if you buy my course, don't go buy a Shopify course and a Facebook course and another course focus on this for like the next year um, and master this. Don't get distracted. I mean, if you're going to buy anything, buy things that are pertaining to this, maybe WordPress plugins that are going to help your sites rank or something, but don't go buy like a Shopify and a, you know, drop shipping course and all this stuff like, and go deplete your, uh, you know, your resources and stuff like stay laser focused on, on this or whatever it is. Like if you don't like SEO, go, you know, you really want to start a Shopify store, go, go do that and focus solely on that. And, um, uh, I would also encourage people to definitely start if you know, going to live events. Like I know they cost a couple hundred bucks. Um, and, and a lot of times the events themselves aren't too expensive, but then you got to factor in, plane or a ticket and then the hotels and food and stuff and yeah it does it does add up to a couple thousand but like that has been a you know a big uh, has been a big um has made a big impact on my success so i just i just started getting out of my comfort zone last year and going to a lot of events and like when when i started talking to people there that I, I knew of. I met a lot of people that I was familiar with, but I'd never met them in person and said, how, how did you guys get started? Uh, like you got start, they got started a long time ago. And I was like, how'd you guys get success so quickly when you started out? Like that, like they're like, Oh yeah, you know, there's the guys that like, Oh, I just started internet marketing. Like in three months, I made like a hundred thousand dollars. I was like, oh, how did you do that? And they're like, I don't know. I just started going to live events and meeting people. And so as soon as you start making, getting some traction, um, try to go to some of these live events. Uh, there's, you know, lots of great, uh, you know, affiliate marketing, there's the affiliate summit and all these other just events where internet marketers hang out and that, like that in itself, you're going to meet some people, probably some people that you can pay as mentors that really know their stuff. Um, because you got to remember the people that like the caliber of people that show up to these events, you got are, are just like you, you know, they had to, uh, shell out the money for the ticket and the plane ticket and the hotel. So like they're, they're committed, you know, if somebody's going to, especially if like you're in Australia, if you came to an event in the U S like that's a long way for you to go. And so you're really committed and serious about your success. So the caliber of people that show up to these live events are just going to be a lot higher quality than um, maybe some of the connections that you can meet uh, I don't know, elsewhere or whatever, or just like through Facebook Messenger or something, not to say that um, you can't talk to millionaires there, but like just the caliber of people that are going to show up, like it, it's definitely worth uh, finding a handful of events that you can maybe frequent um, 
every year and, and maybe even mix it up and try out different events every year. But yeah, just to go back to the, the first step is just finding like the, the advice that uh, a guy taught, told me at one of my first events was he said, go to live events and then find a, a mentor. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the course, you know, find somebody, either somebody or a, um, a course that you trust. And, but the thing about going to these live events is you can get the truth. So with, when you're online, you're kind of trying to make your own assessments of like, you may not know who I am. You, uh, yeah, we're doing this interview. So hopefully there's some rapport established between me and you that gives me some authority and I can see that I'm a real person. But when you're at these live events, you can talk, talk to the people that you see on, on, on these, you know, I may be at some of these live events. So you can talk to me in person, corner me, ask me questions and, ask me you know the truth on like this other guy that had a course like like is it legit is he legit is he actually making money where you're not going to get a lot of the same answers on facebook messenger or by you know assessing those people on your own you're just sort of like i hope this course is good you know i hope this information works whereas you know when you're face to face with somebody that you're um either you bought their course or whatever. Anyway, you can just, you can just get more insight and information to, um, or point it in the right direction to somebody that you could trust, like know, like, and trust. Cause, um, like you might meet some, like you might meet me. I've got an SEO course, but if you're look, looking to learn Facebook, my, I could refer you to somebody that I really trust that does Facebook and that, that way you wouldn't have to figure out who's has the best Facebook course you know, things like that. So you can really um, just leapfrog your way towards like the right people without having to spend a lot of extra time and money if you're trying to figure out all that stuff on your own. I know it's a long answer, but um, yeah, basically, you know, live events are where it's at and like mentors and another note on kind of mentors and stuff, I, I kind of, this is a insight I've learned over the years and I, I do this all the time now since I make a little bit more money. When, whenever I, if I want to build a relationship with somebody, one of the fastest ways to do that is to buy their product. Um, and that's not just saying like buy my product or whatever, but I, I literally just did this a couple of weeks ago. And uh, this, uh, yeah, I bought this guy's product. So I, yeah, I wanted his product, but I also wanted a relationship with him. And so it was a $997 product. It was a live uh event and i just said yeah no problem like i've got the money and i want i want access to this guy and so that all of a sudden just opens up the door to a lot of stuff because they're like cool like now now i'm cool with him because i paid him money like it's it's very simple um and so i'm basically buying relationships if that makes sense Absolutely. Even if you want a girl, you buy them lunch or you take them out on a date or something like that. So there's a lot of people that are vying gurus attention or people that are accomplished out there. So if you do show that you've got skin in the game and you're really, really serious um, and you want to, you know, just close, get yourself close to touching the ham. Yeah. Like you say, you know, pay a bit of money or go and see them in live events because you're an average of the five people you hang around with. So at that particular moment, if you're hanging around five well-accomplished SEO experts, then you are also counted as there was five SEO experts that was there. So that stigma sticks around with you and um, you, you start owning it and then it becomes your thing. I'm also just going to allude to something that you touched on a little bit. You did mention how to focus and how to, you know, stay with the one thing. Focus is spelled F-O-C-U-S. And if you really, really look at it, it's follow one course until successful. A lot of people just dabble and they don't really sit around to see something through. Now, thank you so much there, Greg, for being so generous with your time, your expertise, and your knowledge on this show today. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. Great stuff. Now